Think about what it would be like to be on a boat with thousands of defecating animals and no ventilation system and no lights and no windows. Think of how awful that would be. And with the worst storm in the history ever raging outside. And actually, we don't have to think about it. A lot of Equiano, a slave who came over in the Middle Passage, told us all about it. Here's what he had to say. The stench of the hold while we were on the coast was so intolerably loathsome that it was dangerous to remain there for any time. And some of us had been permitted to stay on deck for the fresh air, but now that the whole ship's cargo were confined together, it became absolutely pestilential. The closeness of the place and the heat of the climate added to the number in the ship, which was so crowded that each had scarcely room to turn himself. It almost suffocated us. This produced copious perspirations, so that the air soon became unfit for respiration from a variety of loathsome smells, and brought on a sickness among the slaves, of which many died. So if Noah's Ark had been real, that enormous unventilated ship pitching on the seas for more than a year would have been a far fouler place than the slave ship that Olada Equiano tells us about.